Today I'm going to use this pressure vacuum breaker repair kit to repair this Wilkin 720A PVB. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse Product Specialist. Let's get started. To do this repair, you're going to need a Wilkins Pressure Vacuum Breaker Repair Kit. You're also going to need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers would be really helpful. And of course, a Wilkins Pressure Vacuum Breaker in need of repair. To begin, we're going to close the inlet and the outlet shutoff valves. We're going to bleed off the pressure by opening the upper test cock on the outlet side. Remove the canopy screws. Remove the canopy. And now we're going to unscrew the bonnet. If the bonnet's being difficult, you can turn the bonnet using a screwdriver wedged between these pillars. Remove the plastic washer. Remove the disc and poppet assembly. And remove this spring right here with needle nose pliers. And remove the spider assembly. Remove the O-ring with a flathead screwdriver. Please be careful to not damage the groove that the O-ring sits in. That could be bad. Install the new O-ring. There's this packet of grease right here. It's not necessary, but you can put the grease on the O-ring to make installing the O-ring easier to help it seat properly. Drop in the new spider assembly. Now the legs go down inside the little hole. Make sure it's seated all the way. The spring goes on top of that. The smaller side goes down, kind of like an upside down Christmas tree. The small end of it should fit on the top of the rubber part of the spider assembly. Next, put the disc and poppet assembly. This little metal stick goes up. Now place the plastic washer. and put on the bonnet. The little metal stick from the poppet goes through the hole on the bonnet. And hand tighten the bonnet. Poppet should be able to move up and down a little bit. Now before we reinstall the canopy, we're gonna repressurize the backflow. The outflow ball valve should still be off, this side right over here. And this test cock should still be open. We're gonna turn on the inflow side quickly. We wanna charge the system, and once that's done, we can close the test cock. Open the outflow ball valve. Now the poppet should be up at this time. If it didn't come up, which means uh, water's still coming out, grab this little metal stick here and pull up on it. Now reinstall the canopy with these little screws here, which I'm sure you did not lose in the grass. Buy your pressure vacuum breaker repair kits today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.